Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on these days? It's absolutely crazy. You can now hit your normal enemies with 5 million normal shots, hitting 37 million overpower animation cancel, or the crazy amount of 80 million damage with your Aris Madness. We have actually found a new Bitcoin glitch item in this game that will turn this game upside down once again. So stay tuned and check it out. This will be an absolute crazy ride. In order to explain you the whole glitch, I will start with a glitch free build this time, so that you can understand why this is the same magnitude as the day we found the big horn bow. And if you don't know the big horn bow yet, there's a complete new updated guide on this channel. Definitely check it out because it also explains everything that you can potentially do wrong with the big horn bow. So in this relatively normal build, I will now add the big horn bow so that you can see the effect the big horn bow has on this build. The build damage increases from 136,000 to 213,000. And now let's use a different item. Let's use the purple bow to the left of the big horn bow, exit the menu, reopen the menu and we get the same 213,000 damage. And not only for the left weapon, we also get this for the right weapon. So how can a random epic bow be as strong as the big horn bow? And the cool thing is, I can do that with any item I want. I can also do that with some random epic boots for example. I will just switch to these boots here and we also get the same effect as the big horn bow. We get 206,000 Vora damage by simply picking some random boots. So how can some random epic boots or a random bow be as strong as the big horn bow? To our random epic boots, I will now add also the big horn bow and reload the screen. So we have two big horn bow effects giving us 326,000 Vora damage. You know what? All of our epic items had the same engraving. The new 100% all damage but minus 100% resistance. And this engraving is incredibly glitched. It doesn't give you 100% all damage. If you do this glitch correct, it will give you way more than that. When we add another 100% damage to our build and we have already like 213,000 damage with the big horn bow, we should actually be right here at around 255,000 Vora damage. Because when we have 400% Vora damage and we add another 100%, we only get a 25% damage increase for our overall damage. So we should be around 255 something. But in fact, we are getting way more. We are way beyond 320,000 damage. So we have to find out what's going on with this engraving by removing all our abilities, removing all our masteries and then also removing all our gear. Only that way we can really see how much damage we get by using that engraving. I will also remove the big horn bow, replace it with some random epic bow that will only give us 24% assassin damage. So there is no other damage factor now in our build except that 24%. And now we will engrave the 100% damage but minus 100% resistance on this bow. And then we check out how the damage actually increased. And we are getting 200% for every base damage type. That is the double amount than the engraving actually states. But we can get way more than that. So we simply add an item that also adds the damage conversion. We will convert 50% assassin damage to all damage. And now suddenly we get 300%, 300% warrior, 300% hunter damage and we get the 100% additionally out of nothing. Normally you cannot convert all damage engravings, but in this DLC they simply forgot to classify this engraving as all damage and therefore you can simply convert it and get another 100% damage for the types you actually want. And of course, since we don't need hunter damage at all, it would be best to use hunter damage conversion to get 300% assassin and 300% warrior damage out of it. That will be the new standard way to increase our damage in all our future builds. And the good thing is we can use both the glitched engraving and the glitched bow to get the double damage out of it. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like and see you next time.